Welcome to our reading workshop. This week we are going to review good reading habits. Today we are going to start by reminding ourselves what good readers do in terms of a reading spot. Our objective for today is that readers will find the best reading spot to help them do their best work. During our expectations, we talked about finding a space where you can learn your best. Good readers also have a reading spot so that they could do their best reading and grow as readers. It can be the same spot where you do your learning, like writing and math, or it can be a different spot. Today, we are going to find our perfect reading spot. We will notice different things such as lighting, noise level, and what kind of seat we like. For example, for lighting, we will take note and see if we like darker lighting or brighter lighting. For noise level, we'll see how much voice level we're comfortable with. And for a seat, we will find if we like a seat that's a little bit more soft or a little bit more hard. This is kind of like a Goldilocks and the Three Bears situation because we all have different likes and needs to do our best job. So watch me as I go around my house trying to find the perfect reading spot that's going to work for me. So after some thinking, I started with the bench. <clears throat> this is the same bench that we had in the classroom in the library. So I brought that home and I started reading for a few minutes. I realized that the bench was a little bit too hard for me. So I decided this is not my perfect reading spot. So I moved on and I sat crisscross on my bed and this seemed to be a good spot. It wasn't too hard like the bench. So I started reading for a little bit to see if I could keep focus and if this would be my reading spot. After reading for a little while, I realized that although it's comfortable, after a few minutes of reading, I slowly started to start slouching down and it wasn't as comfortable because I needed to stretch my legs, which I did, and I ended up falling asleep. I actually laid down and I didn't read anymore. I fell asleep. So when I woke up, I realized the bed is definitely not my reading spot. So I started thinking of what other seat I could use in my house. I went to the kitchen and I realized I could sit at the kitchen table. This is where I do a lot of my work as well. So I went and I sat down at the kitchen table and I realized that the sunlight provided good light for me. It wasn't too dark, so it keeps me focused. I also realized that the kitchen chair is pretty comfortable. It's a little bit hard, but it keeps my back straight and that helps me focus. So I started reading to see and to make sure that this was my perfect reading spot. But I realized that I could hear the noise from the TV and I could hear some dogs barking outside. So I realized I need to lower the noise level. So I turned off the TV and although I could still hear some dogs barking outside, it didn't happen all the time so I was able to continue reading. So I think I found it, but just to make sure, I set a reading timer for 10 minutes. And guess what? At the end of those 10 minutes, I was still able to keep focus and to keep reading. So that tells me I found it. I have my perfect reading spot. For me, the perfect reading spot is the kitchen table because it has good lighting. It has a little bit of noise, but I could deal with that. And the chair is perfect for me. So now it's your turn. You're going to go around your house and try to find your perfect reading spot. You could ask your mom and dad for help. And once you've found it, make sure that you send us a picture so we could see it as well. Don't forget to look for the noise level, the type of lighting you like, and the type of seat you like. All right, now it's your turn. When you have found that perfect reading spot, set the timer for 10 minutes and make sure to read the whole way through. Ready, set, 